Talks to Joe Moore, who says the car was going so fast, it was all just a blur. A tragic race to ruin this morning. Around 2.30, a speeding car goes flying into this house on National near Macon. It misses the man and woman inside. We heard the big boom. And only narrowly avoids Joe Moore and his daughter walking home from the corner store. Another 15, 20 seconds, we would have been right in the path of the car. Moore says the Infinity came barreling through this intersection. He had to been doing 100 plus. And quickly lost control. Right there where Macon crosses over National, it kind of humps. And when he hit it, it just come right on up. After first hopping a curb, that car plowed through these concrete barriers, then continued its path through this yard where it hit this car before slamming right into this house. When it did, it ejected him from the car down the side of the house. He landed about 20 foot from the car. At that point, the driver was still alive. But by sunrise, police say he had died at the hospital. It was bound to happen. Torres Johnson says that because practically every night, comes out to smoke and screeching tires, cars speeding and doing dangerous stunts, causing collisions left and right. And my sister got hit, my, my son got hit out here, uh, some friends of ours got hit up the street. And with the wrong timing, Joe Moore says it would have been him. You wouldn't be talking to me right now if I was 20 seconds faster because he would have plowed both of us down. Tonight, police still have not identified the driver in that crash, but a cousin tells us he went by the name Big Mike. Live tonight downtown, Luke Jones, WREG News Channel 3.